This is giving me lazy energy. Just remember, your kids aren't going to look like the new her. Saying, why would we go to Mexico and not do it in the US? Somebody said, if she's not willing to put in the work on herself, what makes you think she's going to put in the effort to keep you? To keep Damn. you? Yeah. 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 That actually, yeah. what is it? Yeah. I know it's easy. Uh, yeah, yeah, but it's like, that's like medicine. Oh, just for the throat, you know. We're yeah, a little, yeah. We're a little rusty on here. Bitch. I was like, oh, oh, here too. Oh, no. Next, who pays next? King. I can't. I can't. Come on, so I'm not supposed to be a... drinking. I'm just gonna smell it. Alright, period. I'm on overtake one. That one. That one. That one. Hold it down. Hold it down. Eddie, jeez. Babe. Damn. We're outside tonight. Come on. Mm -hmm. Keep recording. No, I said drinking the regular song. I did. I said I wasn't gonna drink, but here I am. I'm drinking again. I'm happy about it. <laughs> oh my God! Oh my God. She's famous. <laughs> Watch what's gonna happen right now. Congrats, bro. <laughs> Sold out events. Oh, oh. Sold out, baby. LA. Hey, 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 Excuse the mess right now. Karen's been under recovery. She hasn't been able to clean. <laughs> right. I haven't been able to clean. He <laughs> acted like he can't clean. <laughs> Three, two, and one. What's, What's up, up everybody? everybody? Welcome, Welcome back to, to a new video. video. Hey, 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 hey. That's not I want to be right now, but we still can. What's up, everybody? Welcome back to our channel. Hmm. I. Not there. Ow. Sorry. Your energy is very low right now. I need you to bring it from here to here. Okay, my phone, my phone. What's up, everyone? Welcome back to our channel. <laughs> if you're not subscribed here, you make sure you hit the thumb notification at the bottom. You like what? it. I don't even know how to say this. <laughs> Alright, so as you guys can tell by the title and the thumbnail of today's video, we will be reacting. No, we're not gonna be reacting. We're gonna be addressing these hate comments. What's up? <laughs> Meet me outside. How about that? Because y'all won't be so bold and type all these f***ing comments, but yeah, y'all won't meet me outside. Just kidding. We're here to um, react to hate comments because I'm nice. So we're reacting to all the hate comments that we got regarding Karen's BBL surgery because when I tell you there was a lot of them, there was a lot of them. There is a lot of people against BBLs and there is a lot of people just against BBLs. And um, yeah, and, a lot of them were actually pretty funny. Yeah, I will give you guys those. The ones that are funny, I'm not mad at you. The ones that are just cruelty, like mean, I'm mad at you. But <laughs> um, you guys see that I'm like sitting weird? It's because I'm wearing my faha right now and I have my BBL chair at the bottom. So I just look weird. Let's do a, an update, a surgery post-op update. How are you feeling? This is two weeks after the surgery. Um, I'm feeling really good. I feel like everything Things pretty much back to normal. I'm able to like bend down, bend over. Uh, I'm just kidding. I'm able to like. Uh, 
anyways <laughs> i'm able to do everything back to normal i feel like i haven't drove in yet but i feel like i can drive already i just haven't because i've been lazy so i've been kind of using this to my advantage to be honest and um i feel like everything's normal now like all my cuts are pretty much closed and everything um i feel like i've been sleeping a little bit better even though i still have to sleep on my stomach but i think i'm i'm, I'm good i think the only annoying part is that i can't sit on my ass karen recovered like super fast like i'm surprised she was up walking like she was already on the streets after one week a lot of people recover very differently from BBLs, and I thought it was gonna take her a lot longer. But nah, she was she was like good and ready to go after I know. the first week. After the first week, I went to go watch Guardians of the Galaxies. It was good. It's a good movie. You guys have watched it. I liked it a lot. Wait, but, wait, but if you guys want to know more information, I'm gonna be posting a Q and A on my channel. So if you're not subscribed. <sighs> Go there. Link to Karen's YouTube channel is going to be in the description down below. We're going to have that video hopefully by tomorrow, Monday. If not, it's a really long video, Tuesday or Wednesday, because you know, I got to do all the editing. Excuse me. I got to edit this one, then edit that one. But that one is like, I'm scared to edit it because it's hella footage that I got to put in. Anyways, we're going to get straight into the hate comments. Um, Remember, we're not addressing, we're reacting. <laughs> We haven't done a reacting to hate comments, I think since we like the beginning, like when we started taking YouTube serious, which is like, what, like two years ago? Probably. I mean, hate comments come with everything, so just a disclaimer before we actually get into them. I promise y'all, these hate comments do not faze me. They've already been in my comment section for a long ass time now, but we're gonna do a video regarding them today, so. I feel like hate comments just, it's just a part of doing media. Like, yeah. regardless of what you do, where you're doing it at, how you're doing it, you're gonna get hate some 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 way by someone because right. they don't like it you know and what I mean? a little advice if you're planning to do social media you have to have to have thick skin or else you're not you're not gonna survive out here <laughs> yeah for sure if you want to be in the public eye like media wise acting wise movies tvs you have to have thick ass skin because once you're in the public eye everyone's gonna see what you're doing and they're gonna have their opinions about you and they will let you know their opinions about you and then you just gotta like brush just gotta, it yeah you just gotta brush it off can't you can't let it get to you but anywho first hate comment of today's video these comments are from multiple videos from all the content we were making regarding the surgery so these are from like all the content and videos put together pretty much literally okay, all right so first one is this is giving me lazy energy what i'm lazy no. lazy as I'm like, <laughs> no, oh, I'm I just kind of woke up a little bit of man, just kidding. I guess if that's what you want. A lot, of, a lot of people were saying Karen was lazy because she didn't want to put the work in in the gym. She would have rather just got the surgery and got it over with. Even if, go, say what you were going to say. But we did try, but you guys, come on, bro. Three years doing two full-time jobs, like, it was hard. We did try doing the gym for a while and then there were like successful times where we were able to do it and then something just like came up and it just ruined the whole routine and then we just got right back to right. not being able to go to the gym again and then we would start again and every time we would start the gym over it'd be harder and harder especially for Karen. It'd be harder for Karen more than it was for me. You know she just got to a point and said you know what? It. I'm gonna get the lipo and I was like, you know what? Fuck it, me too. I'm gonna get a DDL in this bitch. <laughs> well, keep in mind guys, that person wants to say that I'm lazy, but try to live the lifestyle I was living. Try to go to the gym at 4 a.m., then come home, shower, go to work for a full-time job from 9 to 5, come home, shower again for the second time of the day, get ready, create content, go to events, come home at 5 in the morning, not go to sleep, do 24 hours, not sleeping, like, but you know what? No, even if I didn't, even if I decided not to try to go to the gym, I don't give a shit. If I wanted to get lipo, I'm going to get the lipo, regardless if I tried didn't try. At the end of the day, Karen is a lazy motherfucker. Right. <laughs> nah, but I, I don't know, man. I don't think you're lazy because you, you just, you know, you just did something you wanted to do. No, but that's what I'm saying. Like, even if I did try or let's say I didn't try, who cares? If you want a surgery, do it. You don't have to prove to anybody that's that you right. tried or didn't try to do something. Just what anybody got to say. Right. Welcome. Just remember, your kids aren't going to look like the new her. Oh, Wait, hold on. Hold on. My kids don't come with the BBL. I uh, thought that that my genetics already changed, so my kids are not gonna they're not gonna have my body now. You mean to tell me that our kids aren't coming out with fat asses? Wait, hold on, my boy. Is that what you're you saying? Mean my feelings. <laughs> Of course, I know my kids are not gonna have a fat ass or like a, a body, well, because I pay for mine, of course. Just remember, her ass is not real, it's plastic. No, my ass is actually my stomach, so 
you 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 stuck Te right there. Technically, her ass isn't plastic. Mm -hmm. They just took out her long hoss and put it in her ass. Right. So I just decided which long I wanted. So like this side of my stomach, I was like, put this on this side of the ass, and this side of the stomach, put it on this side of the ass. It's so funny because somebody commented, "They said Eddie, when you're clapping Karen's cheeks, it, it's kind of like you're gonna be clapping her long hoss." <laughs> Like, but yeah, to answer your question, girl, this ain't plastic. This is all me right here. I ate my way up to this ass. <laughs> <laughs> This one, I, I don't have it in my phone, but I, I remember it because there was a lot of people in the, the BBL part two YouTube video, the last video, link to that is in the description down below, saying, why would we go to Mexico and not do it in the US? Oh yeah, I did see comments and some people were like, hella comments. you guys are, there's comments saying like, oh, you can't afford a, a BBL in Beverly Hills. Yeah, hella comments like, oh, she went to Mexico because she couldn't afford the US or why would you do it in Mexico? Like you could not you could get a really bad infection or oh. they're dirty over there. Mexico has some of the best surgeons ever like not even just for cosmetic for just in general they have hella good like um surgeons or doctors in general anything that is done here in the u.s is done in mexico like what like that doesn't even make sense to me people travel around the world to get to find a surgeon just because i went to mexico doesn't mean anything like experience was 10 out of 10 cleanness was 10 out of 10 and the crazy part is is that everybody that karen was coming in contact with who got cosmetic surgeries like bbls or lipos in the u.s they were telling her that they messed her up and they had to go to Mexico to get fixed, exactly. which is crazy. I'm gonna stop it right here because we forgot to mention that it was also a little cheaper too. We're not gonna lie. And a lot of people were saying that her surgery, recovery, and she was bleeding the way she was, draining the way she was because she got it done in, in Mexico. You guys, it's it's the same surgery that they do in Mexico in the US. It's literally the same process. Literally. Before and after the surgery. Don't be scared to go to TJ. Just do your research. Of course, if you go to TJ and you're in somebody's garage, then all right, you kind of <laughs> do your research. But definitely, I did my research. I feel like Mexico has like a bad rep, so yeah. everybody is like, all like ugh, like you got it done in Mexico like you could have got kidnapped or killed or an infection like people think it's dirty like that out there and it's not like the clinic was one of the cleanest clinics we've ever been in nah they probably think that I'm missing a kidney right now but I have both I promise <laughs> I think, I, shit, at least we think she has both. Hey, no, I have both. I wouldn't know <laughs> if I had one. I'd have a whole ass scar right here. <laughs> she looks the same. Oh, well, so let me tell you something. If you think that I look the way I look now before, thank you, God bless you, because I feel like I look like a 10 now. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think you look the same at all. Like you look, you do look different. You do look different. You look good before. I'm not saying you didn't look good. You can't look f delicious before, but she does look different now. She still looks delicious. You know do I look delicious, sir? Delicious is. You look, you look delicious, sir. I'm gonna give you. Yeah, yeah, you look delicious, sir. Okay. <laughs> My poor body. <laughs> Somebody said if she's not willing to put in the work on herself, what makes you think she's going to put in the effort to keep you? To keep Damn. you. Yeah. Let me find out you were the one commenting that. No, that was kidding. me on my spam account and shit. <laughs> um, what does that comment even mean, bro? I I don't think that my surgery made me a ten out of ten. Like I don't feel like because I have a whole ass now and a little waist makes me feel like I'm the sexiest bitch out there or the last Coca Cola in the desert. It's cause nah, I feel like these people don't know how long we've been together. A lot of you guys don't know we've been together. We're going on eleven years now. Right, today. but even if I were to have dated him last year, like I wouldn't, I would never be that person to be like, oh, like I have a nice ass body, so like not any guy can get me. Like what the heck? That I feel like that's so like unhumbling. Like I was never ugly. I was just broke. Okay, <laughs> so you're still ugly. Okay, you know? <laughs> oh, hey, there you go. No, I'm, I'm still ugly, but you feel me? Like just because I got cosmetic surgery doesn't make me any more than or any less than what i was before if she's getting her body done that means she's trying to impress someone else stay focused my boy i am how they know it's crazy how you guys know me so well i don't even want to do this fucking video no more <laughs> fucking mad now <laughs> the guy was trying to impress his name's eduardo i don't know if you guys know him this is eddie though <laughs> <laughs> He must have cheated on her to make her feel so insecure that the only way to keep him is to get her body done. That's a that's Whoa. that's actually very Be accurate. Like y'all got it to the T, bro. It's fuck. You, like how do they know? Like how that's you, just crazy. And me here trying to hide that he cheated on me and stuff. Oh yeah, I'm still gonna be cheating. We but the change. difference now is that he's gonna be cheating, but I'm still look good. Like. Back then I was just a little fugly. Now I'm just, I'm just, I just look good now, you know. So mm -hmm. I don't feel that mm -hmm. bad when he cheats on me because now I can be like, well, she's not prettier than me at least. Um, you, you feel it? 
Mm -hmm. that, that answers that one. Influencers really do be some of the most pathetic people. Hey y'all, let me just start off by saying, we never said we were influencers, we're just content creators here. So if you think I'm pathetic because I'm influencing you to get a BBL, check twice because my resume doesn't say influencer, it says content creator. <laughs> <laughs> where did the term influencer come from? Like where, where did that come from? Because in my eyes, I feel like an influencer is someone who influences people to do things. I don't influence you and I wouldn't want y'all to do what I do. <laughs> yeah, I don't think we do a lot of stuff in our content that should be influencing people we do things solely off entertainment you know what i mean we like entertaining you guys and we like to make people laugh and we like to like you know we like to show you guys our life and our real life by the way we, yeah. we don't like to sugarcoat shit. we want to show you guys like our real relationship how it is like when we go out like when we're drinking and we don't like being called influencers because i feel like we do a lot of shit that shouldn't be influencing people to do these things you know what i mean right right, right. i just feel like we like creating content. We don't like to influence right. people into getting surgeries or to go out to get drunk or drinking. You know what I mean? I guess we can influence people to have fun in their young young 20s. That would definitely... If I can give you guys any influences from anything that you guys watch in our videos is don't have kids young. Enjoy your life while you're young with your partner and do as much as you can in your 20s because once you're a full-grown adult, meaning once you're past your 30s, I feel like that's when you're a full grown adult and that's when you have to take things more serious. When you're in your 20s, just have fun, bro. Have fun in a responsible way. Even exactly. if you have a baby or don't have kids, like if you already have the kids, still have fun. But if you can wait, just wait and enjoy your 20s while you can because you're only gonna be 20s once in your life, bro. Once. Yeah. yeah because bro. you don't, the last thing you want is being 38 and somebody like, who's Thea came to the bar? <laughs> no, you can have your. <laughs> 38 go have fun no, you know literally, but go take your kids to the babysitter or if your kids are grown enough to take care of themselves go fucking have fun you only live once in this lifetime that's the only thing that we can influence you live your fucking life to the fullest and have a great time travel do what you want to do we don't want to get old and have regrets in life and be like Fuck like we should have did this or we should have done that or like we should have been doing this more you know what i mean we, we're trying to have as much fun as we possibly you, can while we can do it do you know that tiktok and it's like girl this is your sign to just travel even if your account only has a hundred dollars just travel you only you only gonna live once literally you're only yeah. gonna live once so and you're not gonna take money down with you so I look so much taller than you in this video. It's yeah, crazy. I'm sorry. Karen does look taller than me in this video. It's because she's using a booster seat. I didn't even notice that this whole video. Oh, shorty. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you guys like, comment, share, and subscribe again. Um, we hope you guys enjoyed the video. You guys have been going crazy with these past YouTube videos. And uh, and I'm sorry that we've been dragging it. But after this, I think we're done talking about the BBL. Nah, we're, we've been dragging. We've been making a lot of BBL content. But it's because we're having fun with it. I mean, I, we already knew we were going to do this. Like, we have a hell of jokes. I still have. Hella jokes. Have but, you guys seen the jokes he's been doing on me? Like, damn. <laughs> if you guys don't follow me on TikTok or even Instagram, because I post all my TikToks on Instagram, go ahead and follow um, follow those links to all of our social media platforms. It's gonna be in the description down below. Um, we really do love and appreciate every single one of you guys who watch our videos, show nothing but love mm -hmm. on on media and in real life. If you guys see us in person, you guys want to come up to us, come up to us. You guys are never bugging. You guys are never bothering us. Never. I promise you. If you guys want to just say hi or give us a hug, like we're down, bro. Like. Just just come say hi. <laughs> Make sure to watch our interview with uh, Alan Eyes on Noche de Penejadas. We're going to leave that link in the description down below. And then uh, whoever you guys want to see us collab with. Uh, spam in the comment section. Spam it in the comment section. We have a lot of potential collabs coming up. But we want to see what you guys want to see. Because it's not about us. It's about y'all. Literally. So. We love you guys. We'll see you in the next one. Ah, la, 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 la.